As of July 31st, this busy station car park in Marambina will close for two years. Shut down and parking offset along the rail line as construction begins for the government's controversial 1.6 billion Skyrail project in Melbourne South East. There will be some disruption. I apologise to anyone who will be um, uh, who will have to deal with the uh, challenge of that. The first two giant cranes will be installed beside Marambina's rail line, designed to lift bridge spans into place as part of a bid to remove all level crossings on Victoria's busiest rail corridor. Beneath the 230-tonne structures, Cranbourne and Dandenong line trains will travel as usual. This is world-leading world technology. The never-before-seen cranes will kickstart Skyrail, a project which government says will create 2,000 jobs, remove nine of the deadliest and congested level crossings and deliver five new state-of-the-art stations. But the opposition says nobody voted for Skyrail, contributing resident outrage to their 4.2% swing in Labor seat of Chisholm on Saturday. The community was hoodwinked on this. If Daniel Andrews thought it was such a good idea, to do a sky rail, why didn't he take it to the election in 2014? Meanwhile, the Greens say the government is failing to maintain existing tracks and stations just further up the line. Basically, South Yarra Station uh, has received a new toilet, some display cases, a new chair and a microphone uh, for the station master. But the government's plans remain full steam ahead. Because this is exactly what Victorians voted for. It's what we need, both in terms of safety uh, road congestion. The project is due for completion at the end of 2018, just in time for the next state election. Madeline Jekyll, 9 News.